Yes, South African domination of the Africa Open began in 2010 when Charles Schwartzel won the inaugural event. His good friend Louis Oosthuizen carried the baton over the next two seasons. And almost a year ago, Darren Ficard, with his fourth European Tour victory, represented a fourth successive triumph for the home nation. It's always nice to uh, come to the tournament to defend. Um, you know, you lost just obviously great memories, played really well. And for the man from Pretoria, it came at a crucial time in the season. I had that pressure of uh, trying to make enough money to be able to cure my card and, and uh, you know, and I went to the desert swing and I didn't have a great desert swing. I missed two cuts out of the three. And uh, Joburg opened, struggled as usual. And then, uh, and then I came out here and, uh, you know, my driver was shocking and uh, everything was just a mess, you know. I think I shot 18 in the, in the pro and the guys probably thought, what's this amateur doing here? But, but yeah, I know, it, it, um, it was a huge uh, jump for me and, uh, you know, it gave me the whole rest of the year to figure out what I wanted to do uh, swing-wise and all that. And, uh, and obviously it catapulted me into the... Um, into the final series, which was awesome. It was Ficard's first European success in front of his home fans and his second in nine months since winning at Saint-Omer. But as he said, it came as something of a surprise after an undistinguished pro-am performance. I don't really like to play well in pro-ams or, um, or practice rounds because uh, I started the event thinking, oh my goodness, I need to really focus now, you know, and uh, just to make this cut. and. Uh, and it's funny how those weeks always turn out to be victories or, or top fives. Ficard first came to prominence in 2003 with victory at the Qatar Masters, and though he had to wait nine years to win again, now at the age of 38, he enjoys the role of mentor to the young South Africans. It's exciting every week, uh, especially in Europe and the European tour. All these guys are great, you know. For the young guys, it's a huge break, you know, if, if, uh, especially one of our local guys, you know, if they, if they come through and... I mean, they got six chances in the in the in the, in the year. So uh, if they win one of these, it uh, certainly changes your life a, a lot. Which it did for Ficard last season. He moved into the world's top hundred and completed the campaign 48th in the race to Dubai and raring to go in the new season. The win in Africa it really calmed me down, and I actually I had a pretty good season. I um, I didn't have a great mid-season, but uh, but ending off in the final series and stuff, I played pretty well and. Uh, and then the million dollar, and then uh, I was just running out of steam. You know, nine events in a row is a bit heavy, but, um, but I'm feeling very comfortable on the European tour now.